So we got Nebula Blade. The fuck is this? Instead of Starfall. I'm actually kind of interested in this deck now. Uh, Face Purgatory, I guess they just don't have the room to replace it. Um, Shocks, which is Spell Void 2, and then AB2. We got a solid hand to start. Gaze. That kind of blows, not being able to use my action point on what I want. Hopefully there's another zap on top. Fuck. We're not getting this to go across and we're losing a potion, so I don't really like that. Let's see what's underneath this Sonic, to be fair. And I may not, I may even bottom in this to, to be completely honest. It is something to strip cards, but it's not the best thing I want to see. So I'm going to bottom that. Yeah, we get a potion, but kind of sucks we couldn't shoot for one and then go from there. Damn, there was another one right there. Ah, we got another Sonic Boom. <laughs> Well, I guess the RNG gods say you're going to have Sonic Boom, whether you like it or fucking not. <clears throat> um, yeah, this hand kind of blows except for Sonic Boom. I don't know if this is a bait, but we're going to double block and send, Spoon, and send Sonic Boom. Um, unless I, I, I don't know if that matters. Okay, so they played a lightning. If there's able to get over it and then create something here, maybe this will matter, but probably not. Um, let's go with double block. That do two presses, two presses, two press, two press. Sweet. Bit of a time walk, which is good for them, for or like for us to be able to do something. Uh, yeah, so they don't have an instant. They're just setting up, which is nice. They chose for us to go first, I think. So we'll just send Sonic Boom. We get the tempo in our favor. Hopefully this gives us some good damage. That's a blue down, which is current funnel. Cool. Oh, forgot to turn that off. Technically, I can just keep it on, but it's annoying when I don't need to. I'm not saying that in real life either. Metacarpus node trigger on the stack. Mm, do you want to give me a card? Oh, you risky gambler. I'll give you another two. Block six, shoot for two. Can this go away? Thank you. Not really that impressive. Yep. At least I was able to block. Technically, it's send six, block two, send six type of thing. We could juke via rags which i like it just depends i might even send spindle with kindle but i have the flexibility of blocking and then playing a potion and then passing just kind of depends on their turn they do have go again <clears throat> uh, thinking is hard for Aurora, isn't it? It's, pro it's probably just because of Kano and just in general. I'll give him some time. Oh, there we go. So smashing good time when an attack action destroy an item they control. So they're going to probably try to hit my shit. The next time an attack action card hits this turn, you may destroy. Oh, that's fucking mean. That is mean. And it's blue? What the fuck? Doesn't even have to show anything, dude. This is coming in for five. I may have to let this potion go away. I can pop it now and just say, fuck you. And take my resources with me. Pass. Pass. 
That is an interesting card, my my friend. Sure. Sure. Hmm. I like Spindle with two blues. However, we have floating. Do we care? Do we care? Hmm. I still like Spindle with, but they don't know I have two blues. Or Wildfire plus two blues. We have two floating, might as well try to use some of it. We can crew plus lesson. Choosing an instant? What? I wouldn't know that. That's just Talishar being weird. Notifying that they do have an instant. Like there should be just someone thinking in front of me. This is still damage on their turn, which is nice. So if I tutor a card, what that card could be is just something that I don't care about. I could just get gaze, gaze my gaze and come back, like put it back in time, put it back on top. Hmm. So I can go gaze, potentially try to find my last E-pot. Smashing good time, huh? What could I search? I think that's still a good play. It gives me op six, technically. Banish play. Sure, I'll keep those on top. Since I used a card, they can probably attack. I that's probably just straight fear right there. More than likely they may be inclined to let me opt two more. Because they if A B3 is a thing, then I know two of them that's on top. I was thinking that, yeah. Like A B two. Let me see one on top. So how would the sequencing go? Storm Striders. No, I really want to juke this if I can. This is a strong turn. And these two Kindles nullify that. Pass back. Neva Vela Flash non attack action of those instant. Hmm. Interesting. Burn up shock was one of them. Boy, if I had Aether Eyes, you'd be fucked. Sure. Sure. What's up? <clears throat> yeah, and a little bit after this. So that's one arcane, that's two, three, four, five, that's nine. I'm going down to 11. Only doing this and not probably going to be, and probably just going to be holding up cards. I don't particularly like my hands on my turn. So I can just try to juke them here because I don't even need to use storm striders, but I have to. I'm doing this now because the arcane is being buffed here. Yeah, you get separate arcane. And then they just hold up two cards because they're that scared. 
That's still a lot of damage, just being able to do burn up shock plus static shock. 10 damage that turn. Just from two cards, two card 10. What a fucking good card. Two card 10. So Kindle. So Spellfire Cloak. Boots. Wildfire. And then I Kindle Rags. What if I don't find a blue? What if I don't find a blue? Because then I have a red. Then I have nodes to pay, right? Then Kindle draws me the card. Then I could possibly find a blue. Then I'd be drawing this Kindle here. Or I'll be drawing the blazing off of this. So I'd have to probably go Kindle Kindle? Oh, that doesn't seem right. This here, Kindle, this, this, that. I kind of like that a little bit more than the other version. Where I do this. Blazing. Then I'm going to go. Kindle Kano. Then I can potentially crew, then draw the card. So Kindle, Kano, Rags. Give Daddy a blue, good, good. Now we go top. This banishes. So far, so good. I could Kano now, but then I could potentially see the other resources that I have. So Kano to see the middle spell, which would be good. Gives them information, but still doesn't matter. So Kano again. See my next spell. Sonic Boom. We fucking love it. Give me a blue. Yes. We are cooking with fucking Crisco and all of that shit. Okay. We go crew. It's like, there's no way he's going to be able to pay everything. True. If I draw a red, then I'm fucked. But. Come on. Give me at least a yellow. At least a yellow. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Never fucking punished! Yes. Goodbye to your shock charmers. The sh... If it's double red, I'm going to fucking be happy. This with the life total should be good. Yes. Let's fucking go, baby. Okay. Okay. 27. We should kill. That, sh that is the magic number behind this because we should have lethal. Oh, sorry about that. No nodes. No nodes. Yep. Unless it's a potion, which I swear to God, if it's a fucking potion. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about that. <sighs> yeah, just, just one off. It was one fucking I knew it. I, I already had it. 26 because that's the magic number for fucking three costs off the. <sighs> I swear to fucking God. All I need is like fucking quad blues and this dude's dead. <laughs> Come on. Give me something, man. It fuses with Electrify, which gives him go again. Well, this doesn't block, so this goes straight to the fucking Kano. Okay, cool. We're good. They're on fucking one. So unless they've got something to pull it out of their ass, uh, we're going to go ahead and send this for Xaxes. 
All right. Oh, fuck you, Aurora. I'm just kidding. I love you, Aurora. 